couple more super important things that you need to have. Um, so our first assignment, we're going to do cut paper stencils and in combination with screen filler and drawing fluid. So we're going to do two types of stencils into your screen for your first project. Um, the cut paper stencils are made out of this material, Reynolds freezer paper. Reynolds plastic coated freezer paper. Um, pretty, really cheap uh, material, very useful. You can make really sh crispy, um, minimum complex shapes, non-toxic, no dry time, um, uncomplicated way to make sharp, medium complex shapes. Uh, plastic coated freezer paper. I like the Reynolds brand, um, but there are generic brands that are available like at Smart and Final, but it's one side is plastic and the other side is just bush, butcher paper. Um, inexpensive, it's good for, for, for laying down um, as a drop cl drip cloth when you don't want to make a mess. Good for making stencils and uh, cheap, available at Rouse, Smart and Final. But these are the key words. Uh, as the brand may change, plastic coated freezer paper, okay? It's five to seven dollars at Rouse, maybe cheaper at um, like Smart and Final. But get this right away. You need two types of tape. You need an inexpensive kind of painter's tape or blue paper tape type thing. Um, and you need this other type of tape, plastic kind of packing tape. So you need two types of tape in here. Um, you'll also need a variety of inexpensive watercolor brushes. I would think about buying these on sale at Art Supply Warehouse or um, Michael's maybe even check out Dollar Tree. Sometimes those are extremely cheap versions of these, but the important thing is to have a variety, something kind of big, something kind of small. Um, don't spend a lot on these wa on watercolor brushes, but you need these right away. Um, you're gonna want graphite pencils, you know, uh, just a yellow, Number two graphite pencil is cool. Uh, if you're in, if you're in art classes, any of the kind of nice Stotler, you know, softer, uh, kind of nicer graphite pencils are, are suitable too. So graphite pencils, fine tip sharpies, exacto knives with extra blades. Um, I want you to buy this Black India Rapidograph ink, waterproof, fast drying for film, really opaque. Um, you can use this to draw mock-ups, and then later on in the second assignment, this is this is you know an opaque media that um, if you were to draw on a semi-clear substrate and shoot light through it onto a screen with photo emulsion, you'd get that stencil that whatever you drew with this black black opaque media um, you'd get that shape um, in your stencil a this is a pen handle and a nib a dip pen nib this is a b6 um, I would stay within as far as sizes C and the B I really like b6 but it, it's a it's a handle that you put this this pen handle that you put this nib and uh, you, you have this dip pen and you put this in a reservoir or a small cap and you draw with it. A um, couple cheaper things that you might not need to go to like an art supply place to find are some gloves, 99 cent store, um, Ace Hardware, uh, find some simple green, spatula, a bucket, and a sponge, and a face mask, 
and an apron. Um, I'm just going to mention some other things that you don't necessarily have to purchase, but if you've got the budget, it could be useful to have. Uh, this is glycerin from Rite Aid. It's kind of, it's in the first aid section. It's actually like a, a, a diuretic, but um, it's glycerin. Uh, I've only really found it at Rite Aid. It's about six bucks a bottle, but um, when you mix ink and you add a little bit of this in your ink, it slows down the drying time. And that's convenient so that your stencil and your screen doesn't clog. Um, not absolutely necessary. There are other ways to um, kind of get your ink to slow down drying time, but if you have a little extra money, this is a good thing to have. Uh, another good thing to have, but uh, is is a little bit of spray adhesive. This is this stuff's called Spray Tac. You get this at silkscreen stores. Um, Elmer's has a spray adhesive. Uh, 3M has a spray adhesive that are like available at like Michaels and stuff. Um, another item that I just want to give you the heads up on. Um, definitely don't buy this big 32 ounce jar of drawing fluid and screen filler, about 30 bucks each, so don't spend that kind of money. Um, there are smaller quantities of this available in the silkscreen section at like Art Supply Warehouse and in Dick Blick. Um, if you are not mobile at all and you can't make it down to the college to pick up the supplies a college bought you, um, you might want to buy your own supply of speedball screen screen filler and speedball drawing fluid by a smaller version but I'm planning on kind of packaging you guys a small amount of each and I want to hand those off to you when you can come and pick up the paper ink and maybe tracing paper the college says is on its way from Dick Blick for you so with that package um, I'm gonna package up a little Matt Duralar, some Ruby Lift, and a little bit of screen filler and drawing fluid. But if you cannot, if you have no mobility and you cannot leave your house, you might want to think about buying smaller versions of speedball, screen filler, and drawing fluid. Um, that's all I'm going to talk about the materials for right now, and I'll see you guys in the synchronous portion of this class next. Thanks.